Hi, St. John's family. It's Ann Strom, your Director of Children's Ministry, and I get to bring you your Reflection Connection tonight. Throughout this pandemic, I have gotten the unique experience to join together with other ELCA young adults from across the country to engage in meaningful conversation weekly around the theme of abiding in Christ and abiding in his love. This last week, we had the theme of abiding in rest. I found this speaker very powerful, and I thought it was worth sharing with not only the young adults, but everyone around our community. So tonight, I'm going to share with you the words of an ELCA pastor, um, Crystal Hart. She is a pastor at Parish Long Beach in Long Beach, California. This was her discussion around the topic of abiding in rest. So today I get to the privilege of talking a little bit about abiding in rest. So if I were to ask you, what does rest look like? Or what is rest? What comes to mind? I imagine for most people, one of the first things that comes to mind is sleep. And while sleep can be a form of rest, there is so much more to explore here. I wonder if you ever reflected on this for just 60 seconds, the idea of rest. What else might surface? More importantly, what does rest look like for you? I'm not gonna take this time to define this because what is restful for me may not be restful for you. It is important that one discovers that which is restful for themselves. I can, however, point you in a direction towards discovery. So let's begin by looking at the Bible. In the first book, we see in the first couple chapters in the beginning, in the formation of all things. This beautiful creation story is bookended with a day marked for rest. Walter Bergerman says this divine rest on the seventh day of creation reveals three things. One, that God is not a workaholic. Two, that God is not anxious about the full functioning of creation. And three, that the well-being of creation does not depend on endless work. Right out of the gate, we are introduced to a God of rest and all throughout scripture, this characteristic of God is revealed to us over and over again. The psalmist offers us other names describing this nature. God is our refuge. God is our shepherd, a shepherd that makes us lie down in green pastures and leads us beside still waters to refresh our souls. And God, our refuge, God, our shepherd beckons us to abide in the giver of rest. We see this in Matthew 11, verse 18, when Jesus invites us to come, all you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Friends, do not be mistaken. Rest does not have to be earned or stored up. Rest is a gift. It is our inheritance. So may I urge you to abide in the countercultural Christ of rest. Instead of abiding in restlessness, Instead of attempting to keep up with hustle culture or committing your life to the grind, instead of selling your birthright as a commodity, may you reject the capitalistic kingdoms of this world and receive this gift that has already been given, not just for yourself, but for the sake of us. I think as the world reopens and we start to get really busy again, it is so important to remember that God asks us to rest and he gives us many examples throughout the Bible. So take the time to rest in him. Have an amazing night.